Hey guys, welcome back to DCS World. I'm Spud Knocker, and today we're in some Emirati Mirage 2000 Cs over to Nevada to go after some loaned Air Force QF4s and a QF16. So this will not be a video on how to dogfight. It will more be a video about how to utilize the air-to-air -air weapons and the switchology associated with those air-to-air -air weapons rather than a how-to on how to dogfight. For that, there are plenty of videos out there as well as it really just takes practice, practice, practice. So, like I said, the U.S. Air Force has been kind enough to give us a couple target drones to destroy and my instructor pilot over here on my left is going to be helping me find bandits and making sure I don't do anything uh, wrong because we're employing weapons with quite a range we don't want to endanger any civilians or anything of that nature all right so we'll go ahead and take her out of autopilot and we'll select our super 530 missiles which is a semi-active radar homing missile and rides the radar guide beam to our target. When we've got a target locked up, uh, we are currently in track while scan mode. You'll see a nice range bar here. The carrot, of course, shows 25 nautical miles. The hash marks on that range bar show the maximum range of the Super 530 missile, as well as the high probable kill range, which is uh, about 8 nautical miles, while the maximum launch range is about 12 nautical miles, if I remember correctly. So our first target, as we can see on our RWR here, is a QF4. And we're just going to close. Overlord, Enfield 1-1, one, one. request picture. Enfield 1-1, one, one. Overlord, single group at full 324-4100 at 15,000. So when AWACS gives you a range, you'll say bra and followed by a series of numbers. Now bra stands for bearing, range, and altitude. And it'll give you those three numbers in quick succession. So if you can figure out how to decipher those numbers, it can really help you in getting you to the merge or helping you find targets uh, to put on your radar screen in BVR. So we'll go ahead and launch a missile at this F4. You can see the hesitation there on the HUD of the mission computer, and that was simply the computer trying to decide which Super 530 would be the best missile to fire. As you can see, it went ahead and launched from the left-hand side. And that is a kill. With all so there's the QF-16. I'm going to reduce my radar range there. Raise my antenna a little bit, because I'm pretty sure he's ahead of us. Or above us, I mean. There we go. Move my TDC. Go ahead and acquire him. And... Now we're going to actually close and hit him with a heat-seeking missile. You can see he's 16 miles out, 15 miles now. Overlord, 
so there's your bra. Bearing, range, and altitude. It is not the undergarment. On Western aircraft, you get a tone, and when that tone changes pitch, that means your infrared missile is locked on. No tone. So we'll put it into a close, close in dogfight acquisition mode here. There we go, there's a good tone. And a splash. So you do have a boresight mode, which is this dash circle. We also have a vertical acquisition mode as well as a horizontal. Okay, so we can see them on our RWR. We're also going to go for a heading of 271. So we'll go 27. There we go. Go ahead and Throw it into foresight mode. Scanning. Not seeing him. Probably should have used my RWR there. The bra call calls are not always completely accurate. Oh, I can see him, that little dot way out there. And now we're going to employ the what the guns. Make sure you turn on your cannon safety switch. So we'll put into some afterburner to close a little faster here. I am doing this commentary on the fly as I'm flying the mission, so that's why things didn't go quite as perfectly as maybe we would have liked with the miss of the first magic missile, but. I think seeing a miss, as well as having me talk in the dynamic environment that we're in, helps to emphasize the points that I'm making. Alrighty. So you can see that we now have our gun symbology, and we want to put that gun symbology right over that F4. And it's as easy as that. One QF4 down. So while we might, ha might have missed with one of those magic missiles due to pilot error, we did pretty darn well in terms of our employment of our different weapons and how they work. So I hope that can help you out when it comes to getting ready for the new campaign for the Mirage coming out by Baltic Dragon. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and fly safe guys.